Hey everyone, so today we are going to talk about the connection between determinant of a square matrix and the eigenvalues of A. And this is a very important connection between these two nice properties for a given matrix and that's why one should study them. So before going to the proof, let us try to understand the statement and an example. So if you have a square matrix of order n and if lambda 1 to lambda n, they are the eigenvalues for the given matrix A. Then the result is the determinant of a matrix is nothing but is the product of the n eigenvalues. Okay, the compact way of writing is determinant of A is for some you use summation notation for a product we use this notation pi product of lambda i is i is running from 1 to n. So this is what the result is. And based on this result like two years ago I asked a question that for two marks. The question was prove that a matrix is invertible if and only if all the eigenvalues are non-zero. Well, it's very simple using this property because a matrix is invertible if and only if the determinant is non-zero. The determinant is non-zero means what? The product of eigenvalues is non-zero. Now product is non-zero means what? Each of them has to be non-zero because even if one of the eigenvalue becomes zero, then the determinant becomes zero. Okay, so the matrix is invertible if and only if all the eigenvalues are non-zero. Okay, so that's another result one can derive from this property. Okay, so many times suppose if you don't know the matrix, you don't know the matrix, but you know that the eigenvalues are suppose 3, 4 and 7. And I, if I ask you whether the matrix is invertible, answer is yes. Why? Because all the eigenvalues are non-zero. Another question one may ask that suppose you have a matrix whose determinant is 36 and the eigenvalues are 2 and 3. Question is what is the third eigenvalue? Then again you can use the relation that 36 is nothing but 2 into 3 into let me call this as x. So 36 is equal to 6x. So x is equal to 6. So the third eigenvalue is 6. Suppose if the determinant is 0 and one of the eigenvalues are 1 and 2. What is the third eigenvalue? Now we know that the product of eigenvalues is 0 is the determinant and the determinant is 0 therefore the third eigenvalue has to be 0. So such kind of questions can be easily answered with the help of this result. Okay. So now let us try to prove this theorem. Theorem is very simple. So the proof is very simple I mean. Now given a matrix A how do you find the eigenvalues? You first find the characteristic polynomial. So what is your P of lambda? It is determinant of lambda i minus a. Right? Let me call this as equation 1. Now what do you do? You expand this. When you expand this determinant, what do you get? You get a polynomial in lambda. So suppose let me call this as lambda raised to n plus a n minus 1 lambda raised to n minus 1 plus a1 lambda plus a0. Now I can assume this coefficient to be 1. If it is not 1, when I want to find the eigenvalue, what do we do? We take P of this equal to 0. So whatever the highest coefficient is, we divide by the highest coefficient so that the coefficient becomes 1. So without loss of generality, I can assume this to be 1 because this does not affect the eigenvalue. Okay. So this is what I have and uh, since this is a polynomial of degree n, I can factorize. Okay. So lambda minus lambda 1 lambda minus lambda 2 into lambda minus lambda n where lambda 1 to lambda n are the roots of this polynomial and hence they are the eigenvalues okay now you just observe smartly now what your 1 will imply 1 implies your p of 0 is determinant of 0 minus a which is nothing but determinant of minus a which is determinant of minus 1 into a but by property of determinant, what is determinant of a scalar into A? If A is a matrix of order n by n, it is k raised to n. nth power comes out into determinant of A. So your k is minus 1 and A is a matrix of order n cross n. So this is minus 1 raised to n into determinant of A. Let's do the same thing with equation 2. Let me call this as equation 2. Okay, both are same. So from here, what is my P of 0? It is 0 minus lambda 1, 0 minus lambda 2 up to 0 minus lambda n. 
but what is this these are n terms so minus 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 means minus 1 raised to n into lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n this is p of 0 this is also p of 0 therefore this two are same so this two are equal and therefore this gets cancelled and therefore determinant of a matrix is nothing but the product of eigenvalues so one of the very nice result involving determinant and the eigenvalue i hope you understood this if yes do not forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section